Welcome to Zoom Studio Smart Layouts. In this video, I am going to show you how to create lookbooks and catalogs with the products of your choice. Hopefully, you've already watched our video on how to create presentations and flyers, which should give you a basic idea of the functionality of the tool. Now, to create a lookbook or catalog, you're going to go ahead and click Make It Quick once logging into Zoom Studio. You're then going to name your catalog or lookbook. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to name this something that is applicable to what you're creating. So maybe something like summer products or a specific name for a project. You can then choose currency if needed, and you can replace the logo if you wanna use a different logo throughout your design. Hit save and you'll get started. On the left-hand side, you're going to see your pages. <clears throat> Here you can navigate the pages, change the order and rearrange them. In the middle, you're going to see your page, and then on top of the page is a layout. This layout that is already selected is a four product layout, so I could add four products if I was making a flyer or presentation, but because we're making a lookbook, I'm going to go manage page, change layout, and change the first page to a cover. With the cover page, you're welcome to turn any of these elements on or off. I'm just going to keep it as is though, and you'll simply click on each area to populate what you want. So I'm gonna add a title and then add image. In this add image pop-up, you'll see images you've previously uploaded and have the option to upload any others that you may want to use. If you don't have a specific image ready to go, you can also use this dropdown and go to Unsplash, which is a library of stock images. So you can search for images here that you want to use throughout your project. So I'm going to search for photography that have sunglasses. I can look at all these different options. And when I find an image I like, I can go ahead and pop that in there. So I have my cover page. Now the next step is to add a double page spread. So when I hit add page, instead of choosing single page, which you would use if you were making a flyer or presentation, you're going to use a spread. A spread is two pages side by side with two different layouts side by side. So your first page is a single page, which is your cover, and the next pages are the spread. Now I'm going to change each layout on the left and the right. So I'm gonna to go to manage page, left page, change layout. And then you can choose whichever layout you like. I'm gonna go with the basic half and half, which is half image, half product. And in my project, I'm gonna turn off the logo. You can keep it if you like. And then I'm going to change the layout on the right, change layout, and I'm gonna do a single product on this page. That will allow me to highlight a product I want my customers to pay attention to. Then you're gonna click on each block and add what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and add another image here. And I'm going to go ahead and search for tote. And I'll find some images that I think could work well here. Then you're going to click on each add product block and search for the products you want. Now, quick note, this is just a demo studio. So you'll see products that are applicable to the supplier studio you're in, not the products you're seeing here. So I'm going to search bag. And I can add a couple different bags here. I can choose a different color if I want and pop that in and it shows up on the page with the information I need. And then you can keep going, find the different items. You can search by keyword or product name. We'll hit add. And then on this side, I think I'm gonna go find another bag and we'll do this cooler in light gray. Perfect, so now I have my layout, it's done. And I can keep going. So I can add as many layout or double page spreads as I need. So for this video, to keep it short, I'm just gonna do one more spread. And I'm gonna quickly customize the layouts. So on the left, I think I'll do a nice half and half again, turn off the logo. In this one, I'm gonna reorder it. So I'm gonna change the products to be on the top. And then on this side, I'm going to keep the four products, but I'm gonna turn off the logo. And I'm going to go ahead and add products here. So let's do some bottles. Now, if you've ever designed a catalog, you will notice here how much faster it is to put these pieces together. 
You don't have to copy and paste information from a website, save and download images, worry about the resolution of the images. All of the product information is up to date and available right within the tool. All right, I accidentally repeated some products here, but for demo purposes, it works. And then I'm gonna go find another image here. So maybe search Unsplash for images that have tumblers in them. Put that in there. All right, and you can always make changes. So if you say, you know, I actually preferred that image on the top, we'll go ahead and just move it back to the top there. Okay, so I have my layouts. You can make further changes if you like. So maybe if you want to put this layout above the other one, you can. And then once you're done, you'll hit publish design. And once it's published, you'll hit share and that's it. So now you have your catalog. Here's the link. That's what you're going to go ahead and send over to your customer. This is a link that you can send over via email or share on social media and they can take the link and then share it on to whoever else they would like to share it with. And they can browse it just like a regular Zoom catalog. A cool feature of the catalog is that the products are clickable. So if they are looking for an item and want to view more information, they can click on it and see what other product or colors the product comes in, the description, pricing, and so forth. Now we're not getting into all the nitty gritty of the tool, but you would be able to edit the product details if you want, choose a different color, add a markup to pricing. So look out for some more advanced tutorials if you'd like, but you can come in here and publish as many lookbooks and catalogs as you like. Now, one thing I didn't do is add a back cover page, but you can do that. So a note, once you've published your design, you can always go in and make changes and add additional pages, remove products, switch them out. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually go ahead and add a final page, single page here. I'm going to choose the cover layout again. I'm going to maybe hide the logo and then find a great image to use. Let's see. So there's tons of different images to select from. And then I'm gonna add actually an email address here. So now I've made changes. All I need to do is republish the design and that will update that link. So if anybody's viewing it, they'll see those new changes you've made. You can always come back to Zoom Studio and go to your designs to find a, something you previously created. You can even make a copy of it. So if you wanted to make one version for one customer and make a copy and then another version for another customer with a few differences, you don't have to recreate it over and over again. You can just make a copy and edit. So creating these lookbooks and catalogs is super easy jump in here give it a shot and wait for us to produce a few more videos so you can get a little bit more into some of the other details of customizing your designs thank you